Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I want to share with you how to further utilize images for each button state to create very unique, rich, and interactive buttons in Power BI. Now I had some fun with this one, so I created a practical button and one from the Star Wars universe, and I hope you like both of them. So let's go ahead, hop into Power BI, and get started. So as you can see, there's two buttons on the page that I've created using a series of images. I have a toggle radio button over on the left and kind of a Millennium Falcon, really cool Star Wars button I figured out how to create over on the right. Now I want to start with the conversation of the button over on the left. As you can see, there's going to be a few different states when I engage with it. We have the button here that shows the difference between just default. We have hover. You can see that the red kind of now turns a red color if I actually click it to engage it it then toggles over to the off button. And same thing, there's two states, one where it's just inactive and then the one where it's hovered to show that blue color to kind of indicate that you can click it. So it toggles between the two of them pretty nicely. As you notice, there's a little bit of an artifact. That's just the way that Power BI works. Unfortunately, it doesn't toggle them perfectly. There's sometimes a teeny bit of a little delay between turning off the visibility of one and turning it off for the other, but it still works as expected and the end results do get you that on versus off switch. And if you double click this here, let's go ahead and open up the selection pane. You can see that I have a total of two buttons in here. There's an off button and an on button. If I actually make those both invisible and each one of those is attached to a bookmark that in this case is just toggling between the two of them. If I open up the bookmarks pane and you can see that there is a radio off radio on. So that's what the bookmark is doing for those is it's toggling that. Of course, if you use this on your page, you could attach this to a lot of other things to toggle, but you can see the effect at least of having this button maybe in your upper right hand corner where you could use this as a toggle. Same thing with the Millennium Falcon button. We have inactive, we have upon hover, if I click it, and then it flashes to the other side. Same thing. Now it's turned on, inactive, hover state, and then final effect state. So that way it has that effect of kind of zooming across. Granted, I did not animate this myself. I actually found a button online that was using CSS script to actually have a fully animated Millennium Falcon moving back and forth. And I captured four different states. I captured the inactive, I captured the on hover. If I click it for a brief second, you'll see it appearing most of the way over here before it then hides and shows the other button. So that's why you see it kind of zoom across, stop roughly here, and then finish it up. So I have four states for both where it goes back and forth like that and then kind of creates the illusion of actually zooming back and forth across. Closest I can get to animation for a button in Power BI, but let me show you the states now for both of these. So I'm gonna close my bookmarks pane, open up my visualizations, and let's take a look at one of these. Uh, for the top one here, we will see that in my fill section, just like we could with a lot of these other color states and everything else, we can customize it per state. I will say that I didn't realize I could have different images for different states. That was a video that I saw on Kerbal's channel and uh, Ruth, thank you for actually showing me that. I thought you could only have one image per button, which is what I had in my previous video. So after I saw your video, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many different things I can do with this. And that's where I came up with some of these fun ideas. Um, so each state can have a different button assigned. When you initially add a button to the default state, it automatically adds it to the other ones. And that's where I got confused and thought that it was only one image for the entire button. But you can actually go to any of these states and you can delete it and add a different image. And that's what these are, is I've actually created in photo editor different images for each state. There is the you know, default, there's the hover, there's the click, of course. You know, when you click it, it causes it to shoot over. And then when it toggles off, the other image turns on. Same thing as it does for the radio button as well. So that's where you're getting those states. You toggle that. Oop. There we go. And same thing, state one, state two, state three just three different images that I've added in that specific setting over here. That's all those are. And it creates the illusion of having these really cool dynamic buttons. So fairly straightforward process um, as far as adding them in here. The thing of course is you actually have to make the buttons to be able to use this. Um, but there's an entire range of possibilities now because you can make your own buttons and do whatever you want with it. I will recommend the link down below to Ruth's video that actually has another link which will take you to a PowerPoint file that has a template for a ton of buttons you can save as images to create a lot of these different things. Um, and then of course you'll have this file available. I'm not going to include the image files because this one was a button that existed already online and I just don't want to you know, reshare that uh, content readily, but I'll at least have the PBIX file available to download so you can play with the button in the report, but you won't only have access to the original images that I built off of it. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. 
If this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.